いかなる時も希望はありますいや、what's up? Lad here. We finally got the best cleric coming this Wednesday. Renew is the cleric that you'll ever need. From the Fiend faction, she is a lightning cleric from the members. Her abilities allow for a permanent buff on your team until she either runs out of SP or gets knocked out. She'll be a great addition to anyone's team. <laughs> Before taking a look at her kid, Ai Kakuma is her voice actress. She also voices Rosario, the JP version of Genshin Impact, and Iris from Mushoku Tensei. There are a few more familiar faces that I see from these animes. It seems like she voices the calm, cool natured characters. Now let's move on to Rinyu's notable damaging skills. For her first ability, she has a one hit AoE bow physical damage attack, has a moderate chance for poison and bleed for 3 turns, and when boosted, you can increase the potency to 120, 160, and 220. And then she has a three hit single target bow physical damage attack. When boosted, potency increases 65, 80, to 100. And then finally, for her elemental attack, she has a three hit lightning elemental damage attack. For her ultimate, she restores HP to the front row, potency of 200 at level 1 and 250 at level 10, cures some status elements, and grants immunity to some status elements for two turns. And also for the front row, dodges elemental attacks one time at level 1 and two times at level 10. Now let's go ahead and take a look at her notable support skills. Homemade Stew is a HP recovery for the front row, POC 100, and an SP recovery of 20, and an ice resist of 20%. And when this ability is boosted, POC increases 120, 160, 220. And at max boost, the entire front row gets this. And then her next two abilities are her selling point. Gracious Prayer. She enters a praying mode, or pretty much backpack time. All allies get an HP regen, POC 110, physical defense, elemental defense, up by 15%. All allies are immune to paralysis and sleep. Before using this ability, you can boost her to lower the SP consumption each turn. So when boosted once, it's 50 SP each turn, boosted twice, 35 each turn, and boosted 3 times, 20 SP each turn. The buff is cancelled if Rinyu gets KO'd or she uses an action. For her next notable support skill, again she enters the praying mode or backpack time. For all allies, each one of them gets a physical attack up, elemental attack up, and damage dealt 15% up. And everyone in battle is immune to silence and dread. Just like Gracious Prayer, it consumes SP each turn. And just like the previous buff, if Rinyu gets KO'd or uses an action, this ability is cancelled. For her final support skills, Preservation, this is pretty much the same as what Ophelia has. It's an auto life, or it revives a KO'd ally. Potency at 25% at level 1, and a max boost 100%. Now for Rinyu's passives, in the back row, she gets a 5% SP recovery to front row. For her second passive, Again in the back row, she gives the front row a 10% SP reduction, and then she has a 20% in wind resistance and 10 in lightning. So on to the main question, should you pull? Now is the time to pull. If you've been following the game or even had insight to the JP version, Rinyu is the cleric. She blows every current cleric out of the water and gives Ophelia a great run for her money. She is the definition of a true backpack unit. Her role is to support the back row. And she does this perfectly with her passives of reducing SP cost and recovering SP for the front row. She is the ultimate backpack for someone like EX Fjord. Also, do take note that you'll either be using her as a DPS support or a defensive support, as she cannot use both of her support abilities at the same time. Out of all the memory travelers so far, Rinyu is definitely a must pull. To those who are pulling, she is fine at Awakening 0, and like all travelers, great at Awakening 1. Depending if you spend on this game or are free to play, I would leave it at that. Her role is being a backpack, she's gonna stay in the back, so Awakening 2 and 3 definitely are not worth it. If you're planning to get her A4 accessory, it's a passive 15% defense up and a 5 SP recovery for the front row if this accessory is equipped by Traveler in the back row. This accessory is good and fits Rinyu's role, but isn't game breaking good. This Wednesday, we've already gotten her. A simple trip to the exchange and Rinyu's coming home. Now longevity, Rinyu is here to stay. She again is the ultimate backpack for offense or for defense. She fits any party well, she was definitely overhyped, and she can deliver, so we'll have to put some respect on her name as she is now the best cleric in the game for a long time. Let's go ahead and finish up. Here the design 4.5 out of 5, she looks adorable. Voice actress 4 out of 5, she has a lot of notable roles. And I'm glad we're able to hear more of Rinyu talking. Abilities for a memory traveler 5 out of 5. This is what being a memory traveler is all about. Their kit needs to be beyond good. Longevity 5 out of 5, she's gonna be here for a while. And I reckon she's gonna be a permanent on most people's party. Global buff, 0 out of 5. She's definitely good enough already. Time limited, unfortunately she is, 0 out of 5. Overall impression, 5 out of 5. She has replaced Ophelia, and out of all the memory travelers so far, she is the one that you want to pull for. 
Alright, well that's it for Renyu. I'll see y'all on Wednesday. I definitely want to play around for a kid, along with the X-Fuer. Alright, take care of yourselves. Flat out.